How do you overcome your fear of jumping? By practicing, of course. Hey, I'm Steve. And I'm Meg. Welcome to Hardtail Life. And today we're going to review the Ninja MTB Mach 1 portable jump ramp. <laughs> so first of all, why would someone want a portable jump ramp? Well, maybe you live in a really flat area and there's no bike park around. Personally, I want to get more comfortable with being in the air with my bike so that when I'm out in the trails, I can do drops, I can do jumps with more comfort Then that opens up more trails for me to enjoy. And it's an amazing workout. I can attest to this. So previously, I had the opportunity to try this ramp, the Ninja MTB Approach Ramp, and I crowned it my personal favorite portable jump ramp of all time. But there's a new contender in town. Let's see how they stack up. So the first we have is the Mach 1. It weighs in at 18 pounds. Its minimum height is 16 inches. Its maximum height is 22 inches, and it is wearable. So the great thing about the Mach 1 is that it has a solid deck, which means that small wheels don't get stuck in it, like for a skateboard or a scooter. And then we have the Approach, and it weighs in at 32 pounds. Its minimum height is 13 inches. Its maximum height is 24 inches. And yes, it is also wearable. The great thing about the Approach is that it has a roll option, which is so great for beginners. So as Meg has mentioned earlier about the weight, with the Mach 1 coming in at 18 pounds and the Approach coming in at 32, there's quite a big difference on paper, but how does it feel as a backpack? I have to say they were both pretty awkward, but the Approach was a little bit more awkward and like kind of intense in its weight. It was just like, raw aggressive. But I guess the silver lining is you can wear it as a backpack. You can take it with you on a bike to go. 14 pounds does make a difference, folks. It really does. That last 14 pounds. All right, so we've gone off each ramp a couple times. Meg, what do you think? Uh, okay, so the Mach 1 is a little bit narrower, a little bit more intimidating, but so portable and effortless. Well, I gotta say, with the approach, I mean, I'm just reminded again and again just how versatile it is from a roll that is accessible to, I bet, some push bikes even, up until where it's high enough that it's like right up there on my comfort level. So there's basically no downside to the approach once it's set up. So there's one more important consideration. The Mach 1 currently is $425 and the approach is $575. So not a huge difference, but definitely there is a difference. So at the end of the day, Meg, if you had to pick one of these ramps, which one would you pick on a count of three, okay? One, two, three. Mach, Mach 1. one. Well, looks like we have our answer. Anyway, if you're relatively new to mountain biking, but you love it and you want to do it all the time, then you've come to the right place. We're eager to ride all the trails and learn all the things. So please subscribe and follow along on our mountain biking adventures. Thanks for watching and see, see you in the, in the trail. trails. Oh man, these things make terrible seats. Oh. Oh, there's like a permanent line in my butt now. Yep. This lip thing, perfect for shooting off, not good for sitting. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's wrap it up. Okay.